Fight Fans, this is a prestige heavyweight contest. We are scheduled for six three-minute rounds. Please make welcome, firstly, to the red corner, John Hopowati. Across the ring to the red corner, Lucas Big Daddy Brown. A prestige event in the heavyweight division. We are scheduled for six three-minute rounds. Introducing, firstly, he'll fight from the red corner. He weighed in 115.9 kilograms. 30 bouts, 28 victories, and 24 by way of knockout. Trained by Jason Gray for Onyx Fight Team. Originally from Sydney, New South Wales, now calls Perth, Western Australia home. The former WBA heavyweight champion of the world. Introducing Lucas Big Daddy Brown. And the opponent, across the ring of fighting from the blue corner. He weighed in 116.3 kilograms as a professional, 18 bouts, 12 victories, and 11 by way of knockouts. He's trained by Dino Billinghurst, trains at Costa Zoo's gymnasium, and he hails from a manly New South Wales, Australia, introducing John Hopuate. Uh, Hopawate, the man who thinks necks are very much overrated. Have a look at him. What a ball of muscle he is, John Hopawate. Wearing the Punish Evolution gloves. I haven't seen them around for a while. Of course, Punish Fight Gear, great, great equipment. But the Evolution promotions haven't uh, done a show for a while. But the gloves are still making this. Uh, making, uh, all right, this gentlemen, you're both professionals. Centering. Okay, to listen to my instructions at all times. When you hear the words, Break and stop, that's what I want you to do, you understand? Yeah. Okay, protect yourselves at all times, let's go. Sure. Barry, who have you got in this one? Oh, you, you know, I think Lucas Brown's another level, to be honest. Uh, you know, he's fought on the world stage against some of the best, scored that massive upset victory against Rustin Chagayev, a, a quality a world heavyweight champion, was stripped three. because he actually had a positive test for uh, uh, performance enhancing equipment. and. Uh, but a quality fighter, Lucas Brown. You know, and he lost two out of, what is it, uh, 28, 28 wins, two losses. 24 wins by knockout. A pretty impressive record indeed. You know, Hopper, I think Hopper actually won a version of the Australian heavyweight title years ago, but was inactive from 2008 up until earlier this year when he was stopped by Paul Gallen. So he's relatively inactive for quite a long time. So it's all up against John Hopperwadi. Yeah, Hopper, just looking to uh, shake the ranks up. And geez, you've got to think he's stepping up against probably the biggest challenge he could have he could have asked for. For sure. So you've got to give him props for that, you know. Yeah. He could have, he could have fought anyone, Hopper, but he's gone, you know what, I'll fight the big daddy. No one else is going to fight him. Give him to me. Oh, that's and, uh, that's you know, true. You've got to give him props for that. Just stepping in against the man with the, with the credentials of uh, oh. Big Daddy. Oh, he's rattled him. He, he wobbled, wobbled Luke. Wobbled him a little bit. He did. He hit Luke. Oh, with a, he hurt him big with daddy a big, big left hook. Bit, sitting back on the ropes now. Eating leather, eating leather. Hopper rallying a little bit, Jordan. Yeah, that was uh, definitely the best flurry so far from both fighters, but from Hopper Wati, well, uh, he's coming off that loss against Paul Gallen, and he wants to uh, make amends for that by beating Lucas Big Daddy Brown, who's coming off a few international fights overseas. Lucas was badly shaken there with the short left hook. I hope we can get that in replay, but he was he was hurt. He I was told dead you, dead gentlemen, Hopper Wati, he, you know, he's got the equipment to... Uh, Upset anyone that's in front of him. He's a big man with big power. Oh, he can punch. There's he no knows, doubt about it. You know, he's, he's, a, he's been a sporting professional for many years. He's exactly. Calm under, calm under pressure, which yeah. is a big thing as well. Yeah. Uh, Lucas, you know, all the pressures on on the big daddy, Lucas Brown. Everyone expects him to win, and uh, you know, the challenger. You know, everything to gain, nothing to lose, and that's really where Hopper is. Oh, Hopper gets sent down. 
The first round is certainly delivering fireworks, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, Hopper had his moment, but he's in trouble now. I don't think he'll be able to go too long, to be honest. Big man breathing hard. John Hopawate. That's the natural power that Lucas Brown possesses. You look at the 28 wins, 24 KOs. That right hand is a money punch. It is, but I tell you, Lucas Brown's right hand is wide open for left hook. That's what he got caught with. His right hand down very low, Lucas Brown. Is there so much talk of what is ahead for Lucas Brown? It's almost like they've forgotten the challenger in front of him right now. True. You know, and you know, you can't look It's a too, big mistake sometimes. You know, yeah, you can't look too far down the track. You've got to just take what's in front of you and deal with that business first. Big Daddy certainly being challenged now. This was used more as a tune-up sort of fight for December 21, where he's expected to fight Bowie Tupoi from yep. Tonga. So um, he's, if he gets through this, well, he'll get the big fights, the Australian domestic fights against Dempsey McKean, or maybe even return to the international stage. Lots spoken about, of course, 21st of December is when J&I and Dreamtime Management will be back at, uh, you know, at Hurstville. And they're already talking up Big Daddy. But Hopper, he can upset the party at any given moment. Just gets in, looks to unload that rolling right. Short left on the inside, short left. Here we go, that's the left hook. That's the left hook there that hurt him. That was just a short left too, yep. Barry. It was right off the hip, yep. and it's just on the button. Right on the chin, yeah. He was hurt then. You know what, he picked him again, he same picked spot. Him again. Yeah, he Lucas sure did. didn't recover, and Luke. Hopper just nailed the target two, three, four times on that little exchange, and then got one back measure from the Big Daddy. Big Daddy comes forward, looking for that straight right, pressuring forward, showing a lot of heart after getting rattled. Didn't yep. go safe, didn't tie up, decided to exchange. And uh, geez, fireworks in the first round with these two behemoths. Yeah, behind the nose, round two. Giant men. People forget that Hopawati was a two-time Australian champion, winning the title against Bob Mirovich in 2008 and 2009. Oh, Big Bob, big hello to Big Bob if you're watching as well. Yeah, for Bob sure. Mirovich. Bob fought everybody. He did indeed. Yeah, come on, let's do it. Come on. He's, a, he's sucking up the air. We're going to leave some oxygen for everyone else in the room, these two. <laughs> but uh, geez, the Big Daddy, have a look at him. Smiles, he's having fun now. Loves a bit of biffo, Big Daddy. He's warmed up now, like he was shaking in the first round. But you, when you're older, the older you get, your nervous system takes longer to warm up. And if you're going to get shaken, it's usually in the, the first couple of rounds. But I, I think uh, Hopper will have trouble hurting him now. And Hopper in a bit of trouble himself here, I think. Hopper. Jeez, everything's just taking more, uh, longer to warm up these days, Barry. Just ask my girlfriend. But, uh, you know, you just got to keep in there. Keep swinging, just exactly. like Hopper out there. Just don't get hit on the chin when you're warming up. <laughs> hey, here comes Big Daddy again. Look at that uppercut oh. on the inside too. Three, Hopper, eating them, eating yeah. them like, like a, a buffet special. And again, <laughs> oh. overhand, overhand. The Big Daddy keeping the pressure on. But oh. Hopper has just got an ironclad jaw, strong as you like, ready to exchange again. Big Daddy lining him up. Oh, big jab. Steps back, gives himself some room, gives himself some air, more importantly. He's watching like a hawk, Lucas Brown. The WBA former world champion has gained in confidence in the second round, Hammer. Well, Lucas believes he should be getting more of the spotlight. You know, there's a lot of big big fights happening, and uh, people are saying, you know, why are these guys getting this attention and all that? And Lucas is certainly one that's like, you know, he's been around a long time. As I said, he's fought MMA and real fights, kickboxing, and the, 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 the Tahuna brothers. He's done it all, this big man. And let me tell you, you know, he's one of, he's he's one of the, 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 the most, you know, well-credentialed combat sport athletes in Australia. He is. And who, who in Australian heavyweight boxing history has gone over to, gone overseas, and won a version of the heavyweight world title by knockout against a top quality opponent. No one else has done it. You know, yeah. uh, you know Lucas, he's been robbed of some fanfare in the past, but he's looking to Ooh. turn all that around. Hopper eating the leather to punish Evolution Gloves and getting well worn in this fight, let me tell you. Hopper's in trouble. He's just hanging in there. He's going he's to get nailed shortly. I can't see it going too long. Comments from the living legend of boxing, Barry Michael, with myself, Mark the Hammer Castellini. Jordan Bellarini. We're loving this one. We hope you're enjoying it at home, wherever you're watching here on Fox Sports. The uppercut from Hopper. Oh, oh he eats two, three, four from Big Daddy. He's Storms in trouble. Forward, lines him up to the body, to the head. Changing levels as well. Not getting caught, just head hunting. But wow, how tough is Hopper was How it. tough it is all over. Too much. No more for Hopper. Have a look at him. He's, He's really in a lot of trouble. Oh, wow. Just out on his feet almost, John Hopawati. Wow. As I said, he, 
He could have taken an easier fight, Hopawati, but he chose to fight one of the biggest and best in the country. Lucas Big Daddy Brown stepped in and uh, made somewhat short work of Hopper. Here to prove a point to Big Daddy, looking for big things. 21st of December, he'll be back in action. Boom, 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 he goes. Dances out, gives it a smile, having fun in centering. Making him relax. Oh, that's a one. Look at that flush on the point. Flush. Of the shit. And Almost again, left punching hook. the stuffing out of those gloves. Hopper's got to be feeling the knuckles driven into his face oh. again and again. Bang goes Big Daddy. And Hopper just dropped his and hand. Hopper, there. you know, credit to him for having such a big heart and such a competitor. But geez, you look at it and you go, you know, he's. he's his heart is almost bigger than his than his head, you know, with regards to how we should look at this and go, enough's enough. And I think he's such a tough man, to tough, such a yeah. tough man, Hopper. Yeah. Yeah. Could be the last we see John Hopawati, but Lucas Brown went for the kill. He saw blood in the water and he moves to 20. Ladies and gentlemen, AO. fight fans, two minutes and 55 seconds into round number two. Your winner by way of TKO, red corner, Lucas Big Daddy Brown. On to the 21st of December goes the Big Daddy at Hurstville. JNI Promotions and Dreamtime Management will have something special in line for Lucas Big Daddy Brown. And then, of course, we're talking Gold Coast, March 2020. Angelo De Carlo's going to have something special for him also. Big Daddy taking them all on. Lucas, congratulations. A victory round number two tonight against, of course, a legend, John Hopawati. When you fight someone like John Hopawati, an opponent that's got 12 victories and 11 by way of knockout, you've got a dangerous opponent. Mate, what, what people don't understand is you, you've got heavyweights that have 10 ounce gloves on. So no matter who you are, you hit hard, you know what I mean? And, and it goes to show with his 11 knockouts, he does hit hard. And I can guarantee you, he does. Let's go back a little bit. 2016, around number six, you're on the canvas. The heavyweight WBA world title's on the line. Your corner says, get up. Round number 10. You need to knock him out to win. What happens from there? Well, being in Cheshire, I was never going to win unless I knocked him out. And, and then they even had a chance to, uh, to take that from me as well. But uh, man, it just is what it is. I'm a fighter. I like fighting. Um, and this is what we do. Obviously, Hopper's the same. He likes fighting as well. He took it on four days' notice. So everyone just take that into account. He took it on four days' notice. So congratulations to Hopper for jumping in. So, so both these heavyweights up here tonight had opponents, which they lost. Hence, hence the matchup tonight. Let's talk a little bit about, you've come down early, you took this fight very, very seriously. You took this fight seriously, so that's why you come down a week early. T tell us about the local gymnasium you've been training out, the support you've been getting here in St. Mary's. I'm, I'm from Sydney, I'm a grandma boy. Go Parramatta, by the way, just while we're here. Um, <laughs> we've been down at UTC at St. Mary's, and what an absolute gym that is. If you ever get a chance, jump down to UTC uh, in St. Mary's and have a look, and it's absolutely sensational. So that's where we've been, um, and yeah, I'm just happy to get the win. Where do we go from here, Lucas? Are we having a, another shot at a heavyweight world championship soon? We do have to build it back up. We have to get the rankings and stuff. Uh, at the moment, we're looking at December 20 or December 21. Um, that'll be a six foot six south ball in preparation for Dempsey in March. Well, congratulations tonight. A victory in round number two. Five fans, please show your appreciation tonight for the victor from the red corner, Lucas Big Daddy Brown. And also, as Hopper's leaving the roped arena, please show your appreciation for John Hopper-Wattie.